Let's take a look at FRQ number 3 for 2017-18 macroeconomics exam. For this question, total of five points are allocated. Starting with the assumption. Assumption is that a country is at full employment. For this question, you are going to use the definition at the bottom. When the economy is operating the full sorry, the, when the economy is operating the output level of full capacity. For question A, you're going to label y-axis as capital goods, x-axis as consumer goods, and the title will be production possibilities curve, known as PPC. So, with respect to opportunity cost, there are three major different production possibilities curves. And without additional info in AP Macro Econ, we assume increasing opportunity cost between consumer goods and capital goods. So this one. So um, let's review um, how the full employment is going to be on the curve, whereas um, not full employment situation, you have a point inside the curve. So for this question, one point is given for drawing this curve and correctly labeling it as X on the PPC. Moving on, so for question B, um, note that in market equilibrium, savings equals to investment, and this is a brief explanation why. Um, implication is that an increase in the country's national savings implies that supply of loan over funds increased as well. Um, so, with an increase in the country's national savings, the supply of notable funds shift rightward, the blue um, line, and as a result, real interest rate decreases from R0 to R1. So two points for question B, um, one point for graph, and one point for rightward shift and a decrease in the real interest. Um, question C says, um, yes, so we have increase in the country's national savings, blah, blah, blah. So with increase in the national savings, we have decrease in the consumption, thus decrease in the consumer goods. So this is the picture um, you should draw and label it as Z here. So increase in the capital goods and decrease in the consumer goods. One point for question C. Moving on. Um, question D says from part C we have increase in the national investment thus increase in the capital goods. Um, recall the factors of production mainly the three are the major ones, capital, land, and labor. Some theory include ca human capital, technology, entrepreneurship. Um, but anyhow, with any increase in a factor of production, um, it would increase long-run aggregate supply. So with capital ex sorry, accumulation in this case, the long-run aggregate supply will shift to the right. And this is end of part D, and that concludes answers to 2017-18 macroeconomic FRQ number three. Thank you.